everyone, how's it going? My name's Jeremy, and today I'm excited to do an unboxing for you. I'm actually going to be unboxing two control panels from TYST, as you can see there on the front. Uh, this box was, I believe, drop shipped from overseas uh, directly. Uh, honestly, I started to cut it open and realized that there wasn't another box inside. So this is what we get. This is going to be the uh, smaller vMix control panel that they make. Uh, later, I'm going to unbox the bigger 4ME vMix control panel, which I'm also really excited about. So let's dive in and I'll tell you a little bit more about it as we go. Starting here. Pretty minimal unboxing experience. Some protective foam there. Set that aside. And I'm going to keep it like this. All right, so we start off with a USB cable. Uh, just a standard um, type A cable. Set that aside. And now we end up with the panel itself. So we have a couple of control panels in-house here that are made by ProductionBot, which is uh, a LiveX company. And this is a similar form factor. I'll probably get that one out to, to show you the comparison. Let's get this out. Very simple here. There's no documentation. They do have a uh, operating manual online that I already read. Um, so I have some idea of what I'm getting myself into here. Now, the operating manual for this one seems to have just been translated, so it's not the most clear. Uh, the, the bigger sister, I suppose, uh, actually had a little bit more in-depth manual. So let's go into what we have here. Starting out, we have this joystick here, and this feels like pretty standard. Um, maybe a little bit snappier than some other ones, and it's really just plastic. Uh, not great grip, but you know, this will do uh, kind of what you need it to do if it comes to basic PTZ control. We have a T-bar here, pretty uh, minimal size here, but it's not very tall, but I really like the action. It has a nice resistance to it. We have a program and a master fader here for audio control, which you don't often see on panels like this, but this really seems to be tailored for a sort of one person operation, which is really cool. I'm gonna leave those there. And uh, let's see what buttons we have here. We have normal sort of uh, uh, preview program set up here, preview on bottom, program up top. These are pretty springy buttons here uh, and not quite as, uh, uh, there's less of a click to them. They're a little bit uh, soft, but, but nice and springy. And I'm really confident that these will prevent uh, double presses. So I really like that. Also a shift key here as well. So you can get uh, more um, inputs with the shift key. So that's always nice to have because this basically um, doubles the size of these. That's usually what the shift key is here for. Uh, we'll have to actually dive into the um, configuration file that you load into vMix with this to see if that works the way I'm expecting it to. We also have a DS key delegation row here, and here we have our DSK keys, uh, so downstream keys. So I believe that this is going to uh, allocate um, whatever is here to an overlay layer. So they're kind of combining terminology here. Uh, DSK is a more traditional switcher term uh, for downstream key. In vMix, those are called overlays, but uh, same idea. And what I think is interesting about these sort of switchers is, uh, switch panels rather, is that they kind of combine vMix, which is a non-traditional switching uh, software, what I would call like a non-broadcast software, and they kind of make it a little bit more familiar to people who are used to using uh, broadcast panels. Even even uh, like a TriCaster panel uses a similar terminology. So um, I find this to be a really interesting kind of combination of them. Moving along here, we have a couple of transition effects, and these um, same sort of buttons, but just a little bit smaller than uh, our uh, uh, input buttons here, and it looks like these are uh, preset to, you know, some wipe transitions, maybe a push transition. Um, this looks like maybe it's like a cube wipe. Um, so these, I believe, once you load in the configuration file that they have on their website, 
Uh, I believe that they have certain configurations that actually do these transitions, even if they're not preloaded in your uh, you know, middle vMix transitions. So that's really interesting. And finally, we have something here that um, I'm actually glad we have it here. I'm interested to see if these buttons light up to give you some sort of status. But we have a, a play, pause, and next button, which you'll be able to delegate to a certain uh, uh, input if you have, for example, a playlist. And then you also have a record, a stream, and an exit button, I believe. It's EXT. I guess that could be extension or something. So we'll have to look into the uh, configuration file to see what that does. So that is the entire front panel. There's a power button here as well, which doesn't seem to, uh, it seems like it's out and then it depresses. It's gonna be basically impossible to show that on either camera, but it maybe depresses in a millimeter or so, but uh, I'm sure it'll light up. On the back here, we have some more ports. We have a VCOM port, USB port, COM, PTZ, Tally A, and Tally B. What I find pretty interesting about this is that uh, you can break this out into more than just vMix, it appears. So you could control a PTZ camera directly from here. Now vMix has PTZ control, so I'm really interested to see how that um, integrates with vMix. So there you go, that's, that's what we have here. And um, you know, if you wouldn't mind, I'm gonna go grab, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with this, and this I think illustrates my point. Our uh, production bot control panel here just has a USB uh, input here. So it's really just meant to control just vMix. And you can see it has not quite as many buttons. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes all you need is this, and this is you know a tried and true uh, uh, control panel. This is something newer, a little bit more reminding me of like a TriCaster control panel or something. So I'm really interested to see how these extra features in this compare to this production bot panel, which I use quite a lot more, obviously. Um, and we'll kind of see how they compare. If you are interested in seeing more of this, please let us know in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to be unboxing this one's uh, bigger sister uh, later today, so I'm excited to see how those stack up as well. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.